Hey everybody, it's teacher Amy and I am here to show you how I display my welcome slide using Cam Twist in the VIP Kid Classroom. So I have created a welcome slide using Google Slides. Now, if you are part of the Google Slides Facebook group, we do have templates available for you to be able to make your own welcome slide. That's another tutorial for another time, but since this one is already completed, what I'm gonna do is just go up to file, and go to download as, and you can choose either a JPEG or a PNG, it doesn't matter, either one is fine. So it is downloaded, it will show up down here in your downloads folder. Now, you can just grab this right from where it is and then you can drop it right here in the effects and use and it will show up on your screen and you can scale it how you want. But when you do that, you can see that you can still see me. <laughs> it doesn't completely fill the screen because the ratios are a little bit off. The Google side is not the same size as the web um, cam. Uh, video feed. So it's not filling the whole screen. It's not really doing what I want it to do because I do want it to cover the camera. So I'm going to get rid of that. And what I'm going to do to make sure that it fills the screen is I'm going to use an effect that's built right into Cam Twist that's called solid color. When I click on it, it's just going to put this band kind of like across my eyes. You can change the color. I like mine to be kind of purpley because it matches my uh, my clouds on my slide there. And then I'm just going to make it go as wide as it can go and then go as tall as it can go. So it completely fills the screen. You can't even see me anymore. Then I'm going to take that, um, that uh, image that I have here, sorry, um, that welcome slide, and I'm going to drag it here so that it goes on top of the color. So it's important that you put the color down first before you put the overlay because otherwise you will put the color over the slide and then you won't be able to see it. So now I'm going to make this go as big as I want it to go. And now my screen is completely covered. Now the only problem here is that now I have these two boxes that I have to click two times. Now I'm all about simplicity. I don't want to click two boxes. I want to click one box. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave these on and up here in the Cam Twist menu, there is an option for tools and there is a snapshot option. And basically when you click that, it's just gonna take a screenshot of exactly what's in your preview window right here. So I click that and it's going to make a screenshot right down here. You can see I already made one earlier. Um, so this now, you can get rid of these two and you can take this whole image with the purple background or whatever color you want, come on not letting me drag there we go and drag it right into the effects and then scale it to as big as you want it to be fill the screen and then that's it now you can turn it on turn it off with one click which is exactly what you want now it is important to remember that once you have done this you need to save it otherwise it's not going to remember that that image um you can call it welcome oops i do know how to say this welcome and um and then that image is saved. However, if you want to use it every day, what I would do is I would actually, let's just save this setup. I would get rid of these two for now. My picture's gonna go dark. Um, I would save this just well. Welcome. <laughs> I don't know why I'm having trouble with L today. And I would save it. It's gonna go down here into my saved setups. And then what I would do, my daily set. Now my picture is going to go bright again. Um, so this is the setup that I use every day. I have my gamma adjust for lighting, my sharpen to sharpen my picture a little bit. I already have my uh, welcome slide in here. Um, and then I have my lessons and my rewards, and my PIV windows that I use for the Google. So what I would do is pretending that this one isn't already here, I would go down to the welcome and not double click it, but just highlight it so that it's in blue. And then I would hit merge. And once you hit merge, it's basically just going to add that welcome slide to the bottom of this set up here. Once it's merged, you have to save it again. So that's an important step. So once it's merged, you want to make sure that you save it so that then you only have one setup for the whole, everything that you want. You've got everything, your lighting and your image overlay for your welcome slide and your lessons and your rewards. It's all in one setup. Again, I like to open Cam Twist and hit daily and be done. So that's how you can do it. So um, here, welcome and then hit merge and then save it again, save it to, you can even name it the same again, just make sure that you have saved it once that you add that welcome slide in. Okay, that was kind of rough. I, I hope that that didn't cause more confusion than it did clarity. I hope that clears things up for people. Um, let me know if you have questions of, and happy teaching.